Welcome back to Mini Bikes and More. Um, today we're doing a review on this Tractor Supply County Line 43 inch fan. It's a, it is a pretty big fan. Um, to give you a comparison, this over here is a Ulitec 30 inch fan. It's quite a bit smaller, but um, like I said, today we're reviewing this fan. Uh, it does got some nice um, like sheet metal blades on it, as you can see there. One thing I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like, and this will tell over time, is this this outer band here is plastic which I'm not used to that I'm used to the middle um, but it does make it very lightweight it does have two speeds it's it's not too bad to lift that in and out of a truck um, nice wheels to move around go around the back here um, it's got low and high which is a good thing and this thing is not if I had to choose between the 30 inch and the, the 43 inch here. It depends on what I'm doing, but if I need to be in an environment where it's not too loud, I would definitely go more with the 30 inch. But if I need to cool a bunch of people off quickly, I'm using this. Let me turn this on low so you can get an idea of what it sounds like here. And it does move quite a bit of air. Um, hopefully you can still hear me good. But let me turn it on high to give you an idea here on the sound difference. As you can see, there's stuff moving around the garage, you know. So it does definitely put off a large amount of air. Um, I can't complain. The price tag on this fan is $4.99 at Tractor Supply. But if you've got a big shop and you need to cool a big area with a nice little breeze or something, that's the way to go. If you have a smaller area, definitely uh, look at this uh, Eulatech at Lowe's. They're... I want to say $1.99 for this fan. Let me zoom in a little bit. This one's old, dusty, and dirty, and but it's been well used, but it's it's lasted. It, we've had this about three years now. Um, this fan we've just recently gotten last week. Like I said, I'm still kind of worried about the uh, outside of this, if it's out in the sun, being plastic. But overall, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, if you're working in a shop with no AC, um, need some air to be moved around, or even outside in the heat, it's definitely the way to go. Um, we use this, like I said, we've had it a week. We've used it every night, and the temperatures are now 100 degrees outside. And even in the garage, it's still 91, and it feels a lot better with the air moving around you with this fan. So um, if you have any questions, comments, hit me up. Um, we plan on doing some more reviews. I do have a review of a Mr. Heater, uh, 80,000 BTU heater. Um, we're going to get installed soon. So once it gets cold enough, we can do a review on that. Um, I also want to say one thing. If you have a chance to get a Dayton fan over a County Line fan, take the Dayton every day. Uh, we have a, even a patent. We have a, a big patent fan here that works really good. Um, if you'd like to see reviews on any of these, let me know. Um, I got a ton of fans. Um, I'm not sure what brand this is. Let me just throw this in there while I'm at it. This fan up here, this is a uh, Walmart special, um, $45 I think. I got four of these in my back garage hanging on the walls. My wife uses one to sleep with at night. I highly recommend these fans, they are worth the $45. I'm not sure the brand, if you want the brand, I can get you the brand number, or the brand, brand name and model number if you need. But like I said, they're sold at every Walmart. I just don't see very many people with these and I see, you know, for the price tag, um, I think it's worth it, but I'd wait for it to go on sale if you can, or even at the end of the season. But I want to give you a quick review, and I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me. Like I said, if you would like to see anything else reviewed, let me know. Thanks.